So, the big brother, uh, QL11 uh, series, actually two of those from this series, have this very cool feature for Amazon FBA sellers that uh, Dymo doesn't have. Even brother's own um, smaller printers, QL8 uh, series, doesn't have either, which is a shame uh, because it's just a software feature. This is auto cropping of barcodes uh, into labels. So instead of, you know, manually cropping them, you just uh, tell the software to do it. So let's have a look how it's done. So this is a standard Amazon uh, label. So we've got a shipping label and an Amazon uh, uh, FBA label with it. What I do, I just go obviously to print, click on, I need to choose the right printer. So where's my big printer, Big this one, for example, and click on, I need to make sure that it's actual size. Here we could have auto or portrait, doesn't really matter from what I can notice. Properties, and then we get this window. So make sure you get this window. If you don't get it, you either have chosen the wrong printer or uh, the driver is not installed. And make sure that the paper size is precisely uh, chosen. Uh, cut every, probably you might wanna untick it, but doesn't matter. Uh, this doesn't really matter much uh, and you go to crop and now click on this one and then extract individual labels now with uh, what we've chosen we need to choose the other option I don't want to see this again and again I need to choose the right size of the paper and click OK and when I click print uh, it will print. Now notice the sizes have changed a lot to the document size. It doesn't matter. You click print and it will print. It has printed for me uh, these labels as it should properly. Now you've noticed this one um, is laid out this way. I would prefer it to be this way and larger, but doesn't matter. It's still a very good label and it works. Perfect. Same thing with the other uh, size labels. So let me close this. So with standard FBA labels, I'm just gonna click print. And again, uh, choose the, the printer I want, which will be, let's say this one. Properties, same thing. Make sure that the paper size is correct. Click on crop print, automatically print individual ones and choose this one. Click okay. And when you print, it will print things properly. And uh, where's the sample? It did things properly, it just came out exactly as it should it's slightly moved to the side it's not in the center it's not stretched but again i think it just looks like one to one size the one that is on the screen the one that came from amazon so it's really really useful i think so thank you very much brother i really like it but please implement it in the smaller uh printers as well thank you